Yo, what up guys, it's Delvin with Diverse Ford Research and today I'm gonna show you how to fix a flat tire. First thing that you wanna do is take the wheel off the car. Once you got it off, you could locate what's causing a uh, flat tire. When it's a screw in here, it's kinda easy because you can just back the screw out. Make sure the tire has enough air in there, so if the tire's flat, air it up before you attempt it. That way, it'll be a little bit easier to locate the flat because you can hear it. Also, I like to take some dish soap inside of a spray bottle. You see those bubbles? If this was buried inside the tire, you can spray the dish soap on it and you'll see the bubbles. Now that we have that, we're gonna get our tire repair kit. A tire repair kit comes with four things. It's gonna come with this right here, and that's how you put this in the hole and you ream it. Then it's gonna come with this, and that's gonna insert your plug. It's gonna also come with rubber cement. Grab the reamer and you stick it inside the hole. Once you stick it inside the hole, you go in and out. After you do that, you're gonna grab your insert tool. You're gonna take this right here, this plug. Feed it through here on your insert tool. Pull it through so it's even on both ends. Like so. After you do that, You're gonna grab your rubber contact cement. You're gonna place the cement on here gracefully. I like to give it about 20 to 30 seconds before I stick it in the tire. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit. I'm gonna take the same glue and put just a little bit with a hole that. Right there, that's enough. Make sure to put the cap back on your glue. Take your insert tool. Find the hole. Once you find the hole, you're gonna shove it in and pull it back out. But make sure it goes down at least a half of an inch inside the tire. Alright, so that just slid right in right there. This is the only tricky part. Now that that's in there, you're gonna pull this out and handle real quick. That stays up inside of there. Let it sit for about two minutes. And then we're gonna come back and trim the top off with a razor. So it's been two minutes. We're gonna take a razor blade and trim the top off. Make sure you use gloves when you do this. I do this a lot, so. But make sure you use gloves, eye protection, Now we're gonna go ahead and air this back up to the recommended specification, which is 40 pounds for this particular tire. Now that we have air back in the tire, we're gonna double check the loop. So we're gonna use the same soap and water bottle, spray it over the area 
and we had no bubbles, so that leak is fixed. Hopefully this information helps one of you guys out. The repair kit's only like three bucks. Usually they're charging about $20 to fix tires now. So if you go get a repair kit, you got a little bit of time and an air pump, this may help you out. Thanks for tuning in guys. This is Dell with Diverse for Research and I'll see you soon.